Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I am so glad you guys are here hanging out with me today. I am bringing you a food monthly, or really months, of my favorite foods on my weight loss journey. All of the foods I'm gonna share are foods that I eat often throughout my weight loss journey that help me stay happy and accountable. I'm just a big advocate on eating things that you like and working it within your calorie deficit if you're on a weight loss journey. I'm just hoping that these are good ideas for you and give you some inspiration and some food finds. If you're on a weight loss journey and you may feel stuck or you don't know what to eat or you just need some new food ideas to help you, then this is where you need to be. And if you are new here and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you. You just hit that subscribe button down below. It is free to subscribe and I would really appreciate it. So let's just jump into the goods the, the reason why you're here, the food. Yeah, we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm gonna be leaving you guys the calories and most of the items where I'm from, I'm from Florida, so a lot of the stores that I shop are Target, Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, and occasionally Sprouts, um, but I don't honestly think anything I'm gonna show you is actually from Sprouts. Most of this stuff is from the stores I mentioned previously. Um, I will try to mention where I got each item um, and if I don't mention it, I will leave it on the screen so you guys can find it or find something similar. I know everywhere is different. Sometimes you can't find the exact same thing, but hopefully something very similar. Okay, we're going to start with, this is, this is like when you are craving carnival food or like fast food or where I'm from, I love Sonic hot dogs, corn dogs, not hot dogs, corn dogs. So that like when I'm craving that type of food, this is what I go for. This is the Applegate. So that's Target's uncured beef corn dogs. These are 210 calories for one. And I'll have this for dinner. So 210 calories for this. And then I'll have it. I'll show you what I have it with. It's super good. And I like to put it in the air fryer. If I microwave them, I notice the crust doesn't stay crispy. So I do like to air fry these. Or if you don't have an air fryer, you could bake them and toast them in the oven. But I really wouldn't recommend microwaving them because they just aren't the same. And then I have it with the Alexa sweet potato fries. You can have three ounces, which is 84 grams for 110 calories which is great so usually I up it like I'll have like four and a half ounces five ounces of the potato fries and I'll have it with a side of broccoli or a side of Brussels sprouts and the corn dog and there is a really really yummy dinner and I always load it with some veggies to keep me full because honestly the fries and the corn dog isn't quite enough for dinner so load it up with some veggies but these are so good and another favorite fry from the Alexa brand if you haven't tried their rosemary french fries they're so good they're so good those are my favorite fries so those are your, a really great option all right another kind of like if I'm craving fast food or like Taco Bell or any kind of just like fast food chain, I like to get these real good food microwavable options. They have so many options. I don't really love all of them. Like I really don't like the pizza or the enchiladas, but I really do like the, this is the bacon wrap stuffed chicken. So it has broccoli and cheese and it's a chicken patty wrapped in bacon. And you can have one for 400 calories, which, I know it's kind of like, uh, is that worth it? But the thing is, I'll have this, like 400, and then I'll have a big side of broccoli. Yeah, usually I have just broccoli with it because there's already broccoli in it, so it pairs well. And that's like so low for like a dinner or a lunch for 400 calories. It's usually like 450 because I have quite a bit of broccoli, so like 50 calories worth of broccoli. And honestly, it's so good, and you can like mix it together. It's just really yummy. Um, so I really do like these. I really do recommend these. And then another one, this is actually my favorite one. These are so good. My husband also really loves these. These are the real good pepperoni cheese poppers. So they're kind of like a jalapeno popper form mixed with a mozzarella, a mozzarella stick. Does that make sense? You can have per serving, so three nuggets is 200 calories. 
or 85 grams, which I would actually recommend weighing them out. And also I like to pop these in the air fryer and then dip them with marinara. Again, this isn't really common for me to eat this like daily. This is just like moments where I want fast food at home and I can like control how much I'm eating and what I'm eating. That's when I reach for this. So this is this one. It's really, really good. Like I mentioned, my husband likes it. And what it is is chicken. That's like a chicken nugget with some breading and then they stuff pepperoni and cheese and air fry these and dip them in marinara. It's the best. And then I love these black bean burgers. Sometimes if I don't want to meal prep chicken or steak or fish and I want a salad, I will add these black bean burgers to it or I'll just have this with a bun even because they're actually pretty decent. They're 140 calories and I think they even have, yeah, they have protein. So they're six grams of protein. I like to saute these and get them kind of soft first so what I'll do is I'll cook it in a pan with a little little bit of water let it kind of cook through that way and fall out with the water and then I'll add some olive oil spray and crisp it up on the edges and then I'll toss it in a salad or make a burger and I really like these they're not spicy it's just chipotle which I don't really think is spicy they do have a spicy black bean burger but I prefer the chipotle it's a little bit more mild and you can add some pico de gallo on it some avocado it's just really good these are the Gardein brand which is a vegan brand Next is my favorite current bread, you guys. I don't think I'm gonna really switch my bread up too much anymore because I love this Ezekiel sesame bread. It is so, so good. You can find it in the frozen section and you can freeze it if you're not planning on eating it within a week but you can also refrigerate it and it'll stay good for a week. So that's pretty much what we do because we go through it quite often. This is my second um, bread that I've bought in. We went through the first one, this is the second one and we have that much left. It is so good, it has like that sesame flavor but it's not overpowering, it's flourless, it's, I think it's like keto friendly and everything. You can have one slice for 80 calories. Um, which is really good and it's just really great ingredients there's like not a lot of ingredients in it there's some seeds there's some protein it's just a great bread it's a little bit more on the pricey side for this bread but i really do truly think it's worth it i think it's super yummy and then this is random but i wanted to share i've been making snack plates which let me grab the snack plates for you and i will leave these linked there's hair <laughs> <laughs> I will leave these linked down below. They come in a four pack with um, really cute colors. I like like they're soft. And then this is what they look like. So they have like little divots for your snacks. I make snack boards all of the time. And I like to do, I'll leave these linked down below. You can get them off Amazon. I like to make a snack board and I will use the ultra thin cheddar cheese you can have three slices for 130 calories or one for 45 calories and i'll wrap that up with a rotisserie chicken breast or turkey breast and these are super low like five slices is 60 calories so i usually have three roll-ups so i love that for a snack idea with some pickles which pickles you can have so much pickles like five chips for five calories this is my favorite pickle brand it's the grillo's fresh they have so many varieties they have spears they have the chips um i love the classic dill and the spicy one is so good i love the spicy one but if you don't like spice go for the classic dill i got this because we were making velveeta burgers and i like to top it with that but this brand is so good i find this at target and walmart and I wanted to mention the juice that it comes in is amazing. Like there's garlic and there's like dill, some other um, things in here. And when I am done with the pickles, I'll cut up a white onion and I will put it in here and pickle the white onion for salads and sandwiches. So I'll use the liquid for more pickling. And it's just so good, it's so, so good. So definitely reuse the pickle, I promise the pickling liquid <laughs> you guys won't regret it it's just amazing and then next is my favorite i think i've shared this before but i have a lot of new followers from the last time that i um posted a favorites video i wanted to share a few things that i've already shared just so that they know my favorite food items and have some food ideas so and it's good to kind of refresh the brain. So this is the sweet chili garlic, which I know I've shared and I've talked about quite a bit. It's from Boar's Head. 
and it is the best hummus and it's not really spicy like I feel like if you don't like spice you'd still like this because it's a very mild spice I personally think but if I'm wrong I'm sorry don't come at me don't get mad if you try it and you're like this is too hot but it's really not hot it's like a sweet hot and then the hummus like the chickpeas kind of cools it down um, but it's just the best hummus it is so good I put it on my toast and then I'll put like the chicken breast and an egg with this hummus I dip veggies with this it's just the best I use it for a sandwich spread instead of mayo I love it that much all right next is some yogurts I am a huge fan of the so delicious raspberry yogurt it's 140 calories for this one now they have so many flavors they have blueberry and vanilla strawberry banana but the raspberry is my favorite and I am addicted to these they are so good I don't know why I love them so much they're just so yummy and I do love coconut a lot so I think that might be why because it's coconut milk they're amazing so if you're a vegan you need to get onto this so delicious if you don't do dairy and then the next one is chobani this is a higher protein this one only has let's see one gram of protein <laughs> and then the chobani is 120 calories so 20 calories less and 12 grams of protein for this little tiny thing this is the less sugar greek yogurt now this is the only one I like, the vanilla cinnamon. It is so good. It is so, so good. I love this one so much with a little bit of granola on top or just by itself or with some fruit. You have options, but the cinnamon vanilla is amazing and it's 12 grams of protein. So this would be a really good quick breakfast. If you're not big on having breakfast and you want something simple, that would be a good option. Next is some sauces and a new creamer that I have really been liking. So I don't have too many sauces to share, but I wanted to share this Nando's Peri Peri sauce. This is the medium hot sauce. This is my favorite hot sauce. It is so good and I love hot sauce, but this one is by far my favorite. I love the texture. I love the, the flavor. I just think it's so good. Um, so I just wanted to share if you're looking for a good hot sauce, this is a great option. I got this from Target. I've seen it at Sprouts and I think I've seen it at Winn-Dixie and Publix. So a lot of places you can find it. Try it out if you like hot sauce. I want you guys to try that. And then this is the Sugar Free Polynesian. Now, G. Hughes is like a hit or miss. Like some things I love from him and then some things are just not it. This is by far my favorite sauce that they make. This is great to have with like grilled chicken. Sometimes chicken can be a little boring and plain, but if you like air fry it, get it crispy and dip it in this Polynesian sauce, it's really good. And then next, this is a new bottle because we already went through one, but we've been loving shrimp Caesar salads and Bolt House has amazing dressings. Like I feel like anyone on a weight loss journey or trying to kind of lose weight knows about Bolt House, but you can have two tablespoons for 45 calories. They have so many dressings. The ranch is awesome, but the creamy Caesar is where it's at. We really, really enjoy this one and the honey mustard also is amazing but like I said we've been making shrimp Caesar salads and it's so simple it's just lettuce shrimp like sauteed shrimp with a little bit of minced garlic salt pepper and lemon juice and then a little bit of fresh parmesan in this Caesar dressing and it's just so good oh and a little bit of red onion you could add some croutons if you want but honestly it doesn't need it but love love this and then the ripple half and half this is what i've been using in my coffee and it's just so smooth and creamy you can also cook with this for like baking and it is just so good i really like it you can have two tablespoons for 40 calories so i'll have one tablespoon of this and then one tablespoon of my chobani vanilla for the vanilla flavor and my coffee has been amazing like it's so good i have it right here all right now for some of the dry items first thing first is pasta because pasta is amazing i am a diehard fan of this i have tried a lot of the lower calorie options like the carbonata is that what it's called carbonata and i do like it but i would just prefer to have something i really like instead like actually i love and i love the barella protein plus it's so good two ounces 190 calories and 10 grams of protein so i feel like that is just amazing and they have spaghetti and they have a few other um, pasta options, but I like the rotini and it's just amazing. It's so good. I like to mix that with my vegan nacho cheese, which is on my website. It is a freaking amazing. <laughs> 
cheese is like my, my most prideful recipe is my vegan nacho cheese. I'll mix it with that. Sauteed tomatoes, mushrooms, some nutritional yeast. Um, you could do the marinara with like your traditional meat sauce, but there's just a lot of options with pasta and it's a great yummy delicious meal and it just gives you that carb fix and it's just so it's just so good when you come out of like diet culture like carbs especially when I was in high school like carbs was like a no-no like you're gonna get super super big and you're gonna gain all this weight it's like you have this like idea in your head that you're going to gain all this weight from carbs and it's really like you have to untrain your brain to think that way because carbs is not what's going to make you overweight. It's eating too much of all food and just overeating and um, being in a calorie deficit is like the main thing to lose weight. So you can really eat whatever you want as long as you're within a calorie deficit. There's my rant about pasta and carbs. <laughs> Um, the next thing is these rice noodles. These are so good. I get these from Target and Walmart. I love to make like sesame rice noodles with sauteed mushrooms, green beans, and tofu with um, like a little bit of soy sauce or coconut aminos or any kind of like Asian style dressing is really good. But these rice noodles are so yummy. I love them. They're really easy to make too. They're like six to eight minutes and then you turn it off and you rinse it and it's just... It's really quick. You can have 2.1 ounces for 215 calories. I only have one soup to share with you guys, but this soup I've been really enjoying. When I was sick, I was sick a few, like a month ago, and I was constantly having this soup, and it was just so good. It's chicken orzo with lemon. You can have the whole thing for 200 calories, or you could have half for 90, or yeah, per serving, so 90 calories per serving. But I just have the whole can, 200 calories. If me and Joey are splitting this, I'll add some chicken broth to it. But I love orzo, and the lemon is so good. It's so potent. You could add more lemon if you want. But it's just a really good soup. I really enjoy that. And then for some snacks, these are, <laughs> warning, they're addicting. And it's really hard to just eat one. I've had many nights where I go for two. But I did want to share if you have a little bit more control than I do. <laughs> these are Annie's Organic Crispy... Um, crispy snack bars. It's really just like a rice crispy treat. They're 80 calories for one. They're, I think these are like the kids. Are these the kids? No, they're not. But oh my gosh, you guys, they are so good. They're better than like cr the traditional crispy treats. Um, the Annie's is amazing. I feel like Annie's has a lot of really good stuff, but rice crispy treats are my favorite thing and these are so good. But again, hard to control that one. Um, I love seaweed for a snack. I know some people are grossed out by seaweed. I am not. I've been eating seaweed since I was like a baby. Um, so yeah, I love these. They're super yummy. They're 25 calories. And what I really like about these is like if I'm traveling somewhere, or I'm in the car, this is like a quick snack to have. And it's just really good. It's almost like you're eating a chip because they're like very thin and crispy and salty but only 25 calories. So you could have two of these if you want. All right, next is my favorite tortilla. I've been using tortillas a lot lately and I've tried all of the low calorie tortillas and the carb friendly tortillas. This is the best one. It is maybe a little bit higher than some of them out there. This is 70 calories, but it's the carb balance white tortilla and it's, it almost just slid out. It is so good. I love this one and 70 calories I feel like is just top notch for a tortilla. I think it's really good in calories. It's a good size. Like it's a big one. It's not the little tiny ones and it just tastes so good. Some of those carb friendly ones are a little grainy and I don't like that. So I have been repurchasing those over and over and I really like them. Now rice cakes. Okay. Rice cakes come in handy. I use rice cakes sometimes for avocado toast with eggs. I use it as a constant snack and the best flavor is the butter popcorn. If you can get your hands on the butter popcorn, it's so good. It's better than the white cheddar, I think. It's better than all of them. Um, the caramel one's actually really good too if you like sweeter notes, but I'm a savory person and the butter popcorn is amazing, so I love that for a snack. And then recently we got these protein bars. These are the Protein One Strawberry Cream Bars. You can have one for 90 calories. We've been loving them. We think they're really good. I, we really like the texture. They're not too, too strong in protein flavor, but again, if you're sensitive to protein, you might not wanna get this because you do taste the protein, but it's not like overpowering for me. And I just love the strawberry cream. It almost tastes like oatmeal 
like strawberry cream oatmeal. Um, and again, 90 calories. Joey, my husband, takes these to, to work quite often. So we really like these. We'll be repurchasing those. And we got those at Target. And then let's go over. This is random. This is random. I'm like, why are you showing me this can of green beans? But I just wanted to mention that canned veggies are underrated. Like fresh veggies, if you have the time to do it and access to fresh veggies, then definitely go for that. That's where like the highest nutrition is. Um, frozen veggies are also really good, but canned veggies are so easy to take to work, pack pack up take to work pack up take to like a family event if like you need to kind of load up on some veggies you can make a side of this and just for nights where you just want to keep it super super simple um french style green beans are my favorite and i typically don't really do canned veggies like i feel like throughout my whole weight loss journey i actually haven't really relied on canned veggies very much but lately i have been because it's been really hot here in florida and i live in an rv so i really can't cook so much throughout the day it just gets too hot so i've really been liking canned veggies and microwaving them um, so I just wanted to mention that, that canned veggies are underrated and it's really easy to just pop in the microwave and make and you're getting lots of food for really low calories, which is great on a weight loss journey. All right, next is, these are, oh my gosh, these are good. This is like a splurge because they're kind of expensive for one smoothie, but these are the Qua Co... I don't know how to even pronounce it. K-O-I-A. Smoothie. Um, I've tried pretty much all of them and I love all of them. Now, you can get these from Target, Walmart, all the, all the stores, but I actually get these from Amazon Fresh. I order them from Amazon Fresh. They're 120 calories for one. This one's super, super good. I love them. It's kind of like a treat too. Like sometimes I I prefer smoothies. I know people are like, don't drink your calories, but I'm for doing whatever you want and whatever can keep you accountable and do what you enjoy. It's 120 calories. It's so yummy. It's so hot in Florida. Sometimes I want to just come home and have a smoothie ready for me and I don't have to make it. Or if I'm running errands, I will grab this on the go and it's just very good. This is the Magic Mango. I love that one. And they have a tropical passion or tropical something and it has like pineapple in it and it's just so good love that one and they have a chocolate keto one that one's really good as well and then next is pb fit i just want to give you a reminder pb fit mixed with maple syrup is the best little hack that i have shared um it's the best with water it's disgusting <laughs> but with maple syrup or sugar-free maple syrup it's so good the consistency is so good you can add it into your smoothies and it's two tablespoons for 70 calories mixed with two tablespoons of maple syrup i think it comes to 85 calories for all of this peanut butter it's just the best hack i've ever shared and ever created next is my ollie protein i love this stuff i have chocolate and vanilla this is the protein powder that i love you can get it from target and I order it from Amazon from time to time. I love Ollie protein powder. It is so good. Thank you for my subscriber who mentioned Ollie protein because now it's all I ever use. Another item I wanted to share is something that's been really helpful when I want to snack at night. I'm a big nighttime snacker. <laughs> I'll wake up at like 12 or two and I want a snack. I have been doing this where I make a hot tea. This is the Country Peach Passion tea and I've been loving this one. My dog's drinking water. So if you also are a nighttime snacker and you don't want to use the calories up, I really honestly suggest making tea. You just have to motivate yourself to make the tea and then you're good to go and you won't want to snack. Um, and this one's delicious. This is such a great tea. I also brew this, put it in a mason jar, let it cool, and then put it in a mason jar and store it in the fridge and have it for iced tea the next day. So that is everything, you guys, for my food favorites. I am going to be doing a part two for beauty and lifestyle, but I did want to do this video strictly just food related. And then if you guys want to see the part two, stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. And I'm going to be sharing a lot of, <laughs> I've come up with a lot of lifestyle and beauty and clothing and things like that. So I am going to be posting that shortly. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and got some new ideas. And I hope you guys are doing well on your weight loss journey and just staying disciplined and staying 
just patient. I feel like discipline and patient are two things you really need with a weight loss journey because you always want it to go faster and you have your ups and downs. But overall, you guys, the only way to fail with a weight loss journey is to completely throw in the rag and give up. But imagine where you could be a year from now. Like if you go back and look at my older videos, it's just, I do that often. Like I go back and look at my older videos and just see myself where I was. And if I would have just given up when I have weak moments, I would not be where I am now. And I'm gonna think of the same thing a year from now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are doing well. Like, subscribe, comment. I appreciate it so much. I'm trying to hit to that 50K and I know you guys will help me get there and I appreciate you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.